The Family TV Mass is brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome. We are gathered here to celebrate the holy sacrifice of a Mass, the solemnity of the Nativity of St. John the Baptist, with the theme, The Birth of the Precursor. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, together with Ortigas and Company Limited Partnership Holdings Incorporated and Santuario de San Jose, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Chapel of the Holy Family, Green Hills Shopping Center, San Juan City. Our mass presider is Reverend Father Bel San Luis SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass. Our choir for today's Mass is the Namayan Chapel Choral. And as one community gathered in Christ, let us all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Come, let us sing, let us pray. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And with your name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Today is the feast of uh, St. John the Baptist's birth, and uh, it is also the fiesta of... Uh, uh, San Juan uh, City. So, pwede bang magbati tayo? It should be a joyful uh, day. And so, let's greet one another with a smile and say, good, morn uh, good morning, happy fiesta to you. Good morning, happy fiesta to all. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, dear brothers and sisters, let us... Uh, now celebrate our Fiesta Mass. The Church celebrates three, uh, the birthday of three biblical characters. Aside from Jesus and Mary, we celebrate the birthday of John the Baptist. Jesus' birth is important because it heralds the fullness of God's revelation to men and women. Mary's birth is also significant because she gives birth to the Savior. The birth of John the Baptist is equally important because he paves the way for the coming of the Savior to the world. John's call towards conversion is still relevant in our own time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray, O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. Isaiah narrates how from his mother's womb, God has called him to be a prophet. He is being commissioned by God to be a light to the nations and not only for Israel. The first reading will be read by Sister Susan Corpus. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands, listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant. He said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm will be read by Sister Sabrina Chua. 
I praise you for I am wonderfully made. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. O oh Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. My soul also you knew well, full well, nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth, I praise you for I am wonderfully made. St. Paul explains the role of John the Baptist as herald to the Savior. John the Baptist knew his place in the scheme of God's plan and abided by it faithfully. The second reading will be read by Sister Amafe Ortiz. Our reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as their king. Of him he testified. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From these man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing to us, this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to acclaim the Holy Gospel. Together, please, you, you child, child will be called, called prophet, prophet of the Most, of the most high, high, for you, you will go before, before the Lord to prepare, to prepare his, way. his way. Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke glory to you Lord when the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child she gave birth to a son her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her and they rejoiced with her when they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately, his mouth was opened, 
his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will be this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once more, my uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, good morning to all of you, those who are here, and our televiewers, not only in the Philippines, but also abroad. A pleasant good morning to everybody. Good morning, Father. And happy fiesta also to all of us from San Juan uh, uh, City. So, uh, my uh, anda ando po, pero bring your own baon. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, uh, so today is the feast of the birthday of St. John the Baptist. Kaya tinawag na Baptista dahil he baptized our Lord and he baptized people during his time. But he was also called a prophet. Now, well, the prophet that we know today is different from the uh, role of uh, John the Baptist. Eh, may mga nagsasabi yung propeta ay isang manghuhula you know, fortune telling uh, one time uh, I asked a fortune teller and I said um, um, kayo ay nanghuhula uh, kung ano ang uh, mangyayari sa hinaharap uh, sa inyong panghuhula kayo ba ay umayaman kasi hinuhulaan ninyo, pwede niyong hulaan ng mga numero ng loto. No? And sabi niya, ah, Sir, hindi po ganyan ang manghuhula. Kami ay nanghuhula, pero hindi kami umayaman. Ang umayaman ay yung mga nahuhulaan, no? sabi niya. Well, but anyway, uh, yun po ang kanyang uh, kaisipan ng isang manghuhula. But the prophet, in the biblical sense of the word, uh, is one who tells people about what is right and what is wrong. And to denounce people in our community, in our uh, in our country, in our families, that what what is right and what is wrong, and that we should do what is right and avoid what is wrong. So prophets are the conscience of the people in the sense that we, uh, even in our country, we have prophets who tell even rulers, even heads, even you know, authority figures that you have to follow the commands of God and the laws of the country. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, we, that's why John the Baptist, as we know in the story or episode about uh, John telling King Herod when he had the uh, wife uh, of uh, his brother as a mistress. And he denounced him and said, what you have done is not right. To take the wife of your brother, Philip, and make him your mistress. And you know, the king was angry when he was denounced, and also Herodias. And so he ordered that uh, John the Baptist will be beheaded. So you see, it's not also easy to be a prophet, to denounce evil in our society and for violation of laws, especially the laws of God. But my dear brothers and sisters, 
tayong lahat po ay uh, mga propeta in one way or the other. In the sense that we have to stick to our uh, moral principles, especially those that are non-negotiable, even if you are threatened, even if there are uh, material enticements that come your way. I remember the story about, uh, you know, a Balikbayan lady and went to uh, the parish priest and he said, uh, Father, may I have my uh, uh, favorite dog uh, be given funeral service. And sabi nung pare, ano funeral service for dog? Nonsense. Sabi niya, That's against the canon law, against the church law. Don't you know that? Well, you know, Father, she said, pinakamamahal ko yung aso. At, uh, you know, mainit masyado dito sa Pilipinas, kaya namatay itong pinakamamahal kong aso. Pero, Father, sabi niya, kung ayaw niyong uh, mabigyan ng funeral service, ay pupunta na lamang ako dito sa uh, malapit na uh, protestanteng simbahan. Alam mo, Father, sabi niya, Naglaan pa naman ako ng $1,000 para po dito sa funeral service. Aba, eh, nung narinig ng pare na $1,000, aba, kumutita po yung kanyang mata, no? Uh, nagliwanag, ano? Pero, Father, kung ayaw mo, pupunta na lang ako, sabi niya, ganoon, paalis na. And hinabol po nung pare, sabi niya, ale, ale, bakit alis ka dito, sabi niya? Hindi mo ba alam yung aso mo ay katoliko? Bakit pupunta ka sa protestante? Come on, bring the dog to me and I'm going to say a funeral mass for him. Well, <laughs> uh, hindi po ako yung paring yun. No? <laughs> But anyway, alam po ninyo mga kapatid, dahil lamang doon sa uh, alok, uh, $1,000, no? then medyo nagiba na ang uh, batas uh, ng paring ito. Well, of course, that's only a joke at uh, hindi naman ginagawa ng karamihan ng mga pare, but maybe in one form or the other. So, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear televiewers, we are uh, supposed to be prophets in our own way, whether your parents, whether your authority figures, whether in, uh, in our uh, offices. So, for example, that uh, if uh, you see there is corruption happening in the office, briberies, you know, may mga iba't ibang klase ng panunuhol, mayroon pong under the table, patago, mayroon pong over the table, lantaran, at yung pinakamasahol, including the table. So, <laughs> yung tatlong yun. So, ahuan ko kung ano ang mga kung dito sa mga BIR, sa mga Bureau of Customs. But my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters and televiewers, well, uh, we have really to uh, be true to our calling to do what is right and avoid what is evil. And parents have also the authorities to be prophets for their children in Uh, teaching them about moral values, about honesty, about truth, about uh, uh, charity, and about uh, uh, good manners and right, uh, right, uh, right conduct. Alam niyo may kwento uh, tungkol sa isang mag-asawa at um, nung uh, nagising sila ng umaga, sabi nung uh, missis, ay uh, 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 Bert, sabi niya, yung ating katulong ay lumayas. Ah, lumayas, sabi niya. Oo, oh, kaninang umaga, madaling araw. At alam mo, tinangay yung ating mga mamahaling mga gamit. Ah, ganun ba, sabi niya? Eh, mabihiran naman, wala ng values ang mga tao ngayon, mga katulong, at sa mga uh, iba pa. Ano ba yung kinuhang gamit natin na mamahalin? Ay, yung tuwalya na makapal. Anong tuwalya yon sabi niya? Yung may tatak na Manila Hotel. So, yung pala, yung pala ho, ay, yung pala ay kinuhan <laughs> then doon sa Manila Hotel. So, my dear brothers and sisters, if we have to teach, if we have to be prophets, 
we have to do it by good example. And St. John the Baptist was that man of sincerity, simplicity, and a man of truth. And although he denounced the people at that time, the Pharisees, the sinners, even King Herod, he was not afraid. And as we know, he died and he was beheaded for standing, sticking to his moral principles and to the laws of God and of country. You know, when uh, this uh, Chancellor of England, um, this uh, Chancellor of England, and uh, he uh, was, uh, um, uh, he was uh, condemned for treason because he disapproved of the divorce of his wife uh, to another woman. And this Chancellor Thomas More said before he was about to be executed, I die a king's good and faithful servant, but God first. So here, dear brothers and sisters, we have to obey and uphold the law, even if sometimes we are threatened and harassed, and that it might be uh, also uh, the end of our life, like in the case of John the Baptist and St. Thomas More. Amen. Please all rise. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that like St. John the Baptist, who was called from the first moment of his life, to proclaim the Savior of the world. We too may be faithful in announcing God's graciousness to the whole world. With confidence, let our response be, Lord, gracious, be gracious to us. Lord, be gracious to us. The responsorial, uh, the prayers of the faithful will be read by Brother Benji Scolano. For the church, the people of God, May we boldly proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and his constant call towards conversion, we pray. Lord, be gracious to us. For our government and civil leaders, may they lead the people towards progress and peace and renounce all kinds of corruption and abuses, we pray. Lord, be gracious to us. For young people, may they be inspired to respond to the call of holiness of life and be good examples to their community, we pray. Lord, be gracious to us. For, for the elderly, the sick, and the suffering, 
May they find good and kind-hearted people to support them. And may Jesus' mercy be their consolation and hope. Lord, pray. be gracious to us. For consecrated men and women, may they continue to nourish their vows by constantly immersing themselves with the word of God and unconditional service to others, we pray. Lord, be gracious to us. Loving Father, we uh, unite our offerings with the offerings of our brothers and sisters who are here. May you grant their petitions as we celebrate the birth of John the Baptist, herald of your son. May we heed his call towards conversion and may our lives be instruments to praise and glorify you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please all rise. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who both foretold the coming of the world's Savior and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, Saint John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought a great rejoicing even in the womb he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. 
He alone of all the prophets pointed out the lamp of redemption. And so we uh, make holy uh, the flowing waters. He baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, Without end, we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all rise. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Luis Antonio, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here and our televiewers. Remember also, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all distress, as we await the joyful hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all sins and from evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now for our greeting of peace. May we make the sign of the cross on the forehead of the person next to you, and he or she will also do the same. Kasi po ang ating kapayapaan ay nagbumula sa ating isipan at sa ating puso. So gawin natin yan. Huwag kayong matakot, hindi po exorcism ito. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let's make the sign of the cross on the forehead of the person next to you. Please be with us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. all rise. Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly land, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of Saint John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Family prayer. The family is the sanctuary of life, the place which life, the gift of God, can be properly welcomed and protected against the many attacks to which it is exposed. Please bow our heads as we join the prayer for the unity of the families to be led by Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Lerio and family. God, our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pitiness far from them and their occasional failures, instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in major independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let's give a warm of applause to our family prayer leaders. Please uh, be seated for a while.
our mass would not be complete if uh, I do not say a word of thanks to those who make uh, our uh, mass, TV mass, uh, possible. So, um, first and foremost, I would like to thank the Ortigas and Company Limited Partnership Holdings uh, Incorporated and Green Hill Sh Sh Shopping Center and Chendesitas Shopping Mall. Let's give a warm of applause to them. <laughs> Thanks to, to the President and CEO, Mr. Jaime E. Ismael, Head Property Management Department Engineer Ramon Sumolong, Chapel Coordinator Ms. Mona Lauraya, Paris Priests, Santuario de San Jose Green Hills, Reverend Father Alexius B. Magdibay, OSJ. And our choir, the uh, Namayan Chapel Choral with the organist Darwin Esparagosa. About a round of applause to them. Thank you. And our commentator, Sister Cynthia Octia. Okay, thank you. And uh, family prayer leaders, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Lerio and family here. Thank you. And uh, to the Unimart supermarket, Marivic uh, Maglupon ng San Juan, Bonita and Lucille uh, Boutique, Ms. Glenda Singalivo and family, and uh, our lectors, our uh, uh, chapel uh, 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 staff uh, here, and uh, of course our Telenet uh, uh, media production, to all other officials of Ortigas and Company Limited Partnership, to the parish and chapel staff, the mass goers at uh, yung mga nagbigay po ng love offerings. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Yung mga hindi naman nakapagbigay ay better luck next time. And uh, also to our offerers, uh, lay ministers, altar servers, other sponsors and advertisers, and our televiewers here and abroad, uh, thank you. And God bless you all. Please all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessings. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord and the spirit of St. John the Baptist. Thanks be to God.
The Family TV Mass was brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation 